I'm Sho Ito, a 22-year-old businessman. Hey, Sho! Came to hang. Well, this place is a mess. If you've got complaints, don't come over. And this flashy girl is my little sis, Meg, who drops by occasionally because her college is nearby. I can't believe you leave this place dirty. I'm busy with work, you know? That's why you never get a girlfriend. Duh! Ugh, right in the feels. But Meg's got a point. Ever since I started working, it's been all work and sleep on weekends. I don't want to grow old like this. Well, if you won't, I'll help out. Huh? What's that supposed to... Oh, got a text from my boyfriend. Later! What was that about? It took me a few days to understand what Meg meant by those words. Coming! Uh, who is it? I'm Kana Fukuda from Koiwa Housekeeping Services. Nice to meet you. I didn't ask for any. Are you sure you got the right place? Huh? You're Mr. Sho Ito, right? Y yeah that's me Come to think of it, Meg did mention something about helping me out. Hold on a sec! I ordered housekeeping for you! I'm the best sister in the world! So, it was Meg. It'd be rude to refuse now, and having a clean house would be nice. Sorry, please help me today. Sure, no problem. She's really beautiful, but a bit unfriendly. While I was anxious about the first housekeeping service, she, Kanna, did her job really efficiently. Two hours later... Whoa! The room's sparkling clean! Only had two hours, so this was all I could do. No, it's more than enough. It feels like I just only read a single manga panel. I see. I made dinner. Please enjoy. Well then... Okay, thank you so much! And then Kanna left. I was starving, so I dug into the meal. So good! When was the last time someone cooked for me? This taste feels so nostalgic. A comfy room, tasty food, but this is irresistible! I decided to book Kanna's housekeeping service twice a week from then on. Even if she's distant, I hoped we'd eventually get along, but... Thanks, Kanna, as always. Oh, no. It's just part of the job. R right Even after a month, her salty attitude remained unchanged. Need a topic to talk to Kanna. Got it! Uh, um, Kanna, how did you become so good at housekeeping? My parents both worked, so I was alone at home most of the time. Being an only child, I ended up doing the chores instead of my parents. We must have been tough. I've always relied on my parents, never did chores. It's really impressive. <sighs> <laughs> I'm really like a total mess, huh? But that's why we got work. No words for cheering me up? Does she actually hate me? M maybe I'll try to step up my housework game. Please don't, or I'll lose my job. If I can't do housework, Kanda will hate me. But if I can, I won't get to see her. What do I do? Days passed without getting close to Kanda at all. Then one day... Hmm? Kanda seems a bit down today. Kanda, are you feeling tired or something? No, not at all. Uh, Kanda, can I have some coffee, please? Sure. And... Would you like some too, Kanna? But I'm working. I just want you to chat with me. Is that okay? All right, if that's what you want. Uh... Uh, man, this awkward silence. I felt something different from her usual vibe. But what should I start talking about? How did you notice? Huh? That I was acting differently. People say they can't tell what I'm thinking because of my poker face. I can kind of sense you're not feeling as chipper. We've spent time together, even though you were working, right? Mm. Something happened. 
It's embarrassing, but I got a complaint from a client. They wanted me to be friendlier. She's polite at work, but yeah, kind of distant. So that's why she was feeling down. I like doing housework, but I'm not good at dealing with people. My personality isn't all sunshine, and I thought that was no good. I totally get that. Huh? Even you, show? I've got a sister who's super outgoing, and I felt down thinking my gloomy self is no good. But when I'm around you, who's always composed, I feel better. Your housekeeping skills are amazing, so have more confidence. Huh? Huh? She suddenly went silent. Is she mad? Um... Y yeah Thank you. Uh, oh, n no She smiled for the first time. It might have been just my imagination, but since then, Kanna seemed a bit softer in her attitude. I wanted to get even closer to Kanna. But then, one thing happened. I kind of feel bad. Could it be a cold? Thank God today was a day off. Oh, wait, today's the day Kanna's coming. I can't cancel, and she's probably here already. I gotta get that. Y yeah. Hi, how's it? Are you okay? What happened? Just caught a cold. I'm sorry today. Uh-oh, I feel dizzy. Show? Mm. Show, you awake? Huh? Kanna? Did you carry me to bed? I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, uh, no. Then it's past the usual time. I'm sorry, I'll pay extra. No need. Huh? But... When you're not feeling well, don't worry about that stuff. Just rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is Kanna mad? It's gonna be annoying for her to come to work and have a client faint. Can't sleep? Um... Okay. Uh, Kanna's holding my hand! Why? You seem to be struggling, so... I thought this might help you relax. Thanks. Man, she's so nice. A few hours later. Dozed off. What time is it? Kanna must have left by now. You awake? Uh, Kanna, why? I was worried. Anyway, looks like you still have a fever. Uh, she, she's so close. Made some porridge. Can you eat it? Sorry for the hassle. When you're feeling unwell, just take it easy and lean on others. Here comes the plane. Uh, I mean, I got this. Just come on, here. Oh, um, uh... Tasty? Yeah. Kanna, she's amazing. Looks aloof, but super sweet. Wish I had a girl like her. Kanna, you usually give me the cold shoulder, but what's your real take on me? Um, Sho, your face is redder than before. You okay? Starting to feel feverish again. Getting kind of woozy. Work! That's it! Right, but I... like... some rest? Yeah. <sighs> if you're gonna ask me out, do it when you're feeling better. Days later, Kanna's magic hands got me over my cold in no time. Gotta thank Kanna today. I had a wicked fever. Don't recall what I said. Hey, you listening? Gonna use the washer. Yeah, yeah. Got bigger fish to fry right now. Jeez. Worried because you said you caught a cold. Even today, I jetted here after crashing at my boyfriend's place. All right, I hear you. Oh, about time Kanna showed. All right, Meg, because the housekeeping service is dropping by. Huh? You telling me to leave? What's the problem for me to stay? Uh, well... Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Fine. I'm too nice for my own good. Uh, okay, got it. A few minutes later. Kanna, thanks for the other day. Cleared up my cold like 100%. Hmm? 
Uh, um... That's all? Got nothing else to say? Uh, oh, maybe I should have paid for extra time. Ugh, forget about it. All right, then. What? What did she mean? Kanna seems pissed. What's up with her? Huh? Meg's phone. She forgot it, huh? So? Y yeah what happened? What the heck is this? Whoa! Why the tears? And what's that? My line! Thought laundry was done, but then this happened when I wanted to hang it out. Laundry? Could this be Meg's? Didn't know you had a girlfriend, and you letting her wear this? Misunderstanding? Gotta clear this up. Kanna, uh, calm down. This is, uh, my sister's. Sister? Yeah, so, uh... Hey, did you see my phone? <gasps> oh, your phone was right here. Uh, look, over there. Really? <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Thanks. Hey, what are you... Uh, got a jet after this. Looking all chummy like that. Isn't the sister thing a lie? What? Even after saying all that... Rude. No, really. Meg's my actual sister. Huh? What that? Uh, well, it's time. Thanks for today. W wait a sec. Wanted to clear up the misunderstanding about having a girlfriend. Oh well. Next time, I guess. That's what I thought, but... Kanna, sorry about the other day, but... Nice to meet ya! I'm Ron and I'm here for today! Cheers for having me! Y yeah nice to meet you. Didn't expect someone else to show up. Did she avoid me? Nah, probably just coincidence. But even the next time, Kanna didn't show up. Kanna not showing, guess we'll never meet again. <sighs> That's a big sigh. <laughs> Meg! How long have you been here? Was here all the time. Seriously, you didn't notice? Uh... Anything up with the housekeeping person? Uh, well, actually... As I was pondering, I told Meg about Kanna. And then... Sorry. Nah, not just your fault. But I did cause the misunderstanding. Should I make a call? Should I do it now? Don't have her number. Uh, plus, probably did something weird when I had the cold. But about that... So? You might be in trouble. What? Mom said you get all needy when you catch a cold. You might have said something weird to that person. Oh, shoot. I probably said something totally nuts to Kanna. <sighs> Messed up. The next day. Alrighty then! See you next time! Ron! Wait a sec! What's up? How's Kanna? Is she okay? Kanna? Well, if I gotta say, not exactly in the best shape. Huh? What does that mean? Don't know the full deal, but seems like she's dealing with some illness. Oops! Can't be sharing stuff like that with customers. Forget I said anything! Kanna... sick? Is she alright? And the misunderstanding's not cleared up. Um, Ron! Huh? Yeah? I know it's a huge favor to ask, but could you give me Kanna's number? Can't do that. It's private info, you know? Yeah, I bet. Oh! Speaking of today... Gotta go to Koiwa Hospital for my... Ahem, back pain. Also... Seems like our... Staff goes there a lot. The staff on a day off might be there now. Uh, th thank you so much. <sighs> Kanna, sick enough to miss work, must be rough. She helped me when I was down with a cold. It's my turn to help her. Kanna! So? You sure it's cool walking around like this? Don't push yourself! Huh? Heard you're sick. 
Sick? I had the flu, but I'm all good now. Huh? But you were at the hospital, right? Visiting my mom who was hospitalized. She's getting discharged today, so I took the day off for the paperwork. So, you weren't seriously ill, right? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Oh, okay. Phew. Uh, about when I had the cold. Sorry, I don't even remember. Might have said rude stuff to you, huh? Don't remember? <sighs> oh, well then. Uh... So, uh, she's really my sister. Was just happy she found the phone and hugged me. <sighs> she doesn't believe me. Um, I mean... <sighs> Thank God! Kanna. So, even if you don't remember, you told me you liked me. Huh? I said that? Even then, you didn't bring it up next time we met. And then I found that thing from the laundry machine. Seems like you wanted to forget about us because you had a girlfriend. I'm sorry. I thought even you, Sho, liked outgoing girls. That really broke my heart. The person I like is you, Kanna. Ah, uh, finally. Finally, you told me you liked me. <gasps> Sho... I like you, too. Notice the change in me, even though I'm usually poker-faced. Never met anyone like that before. Kanna, you aren't always poker-faced. I mean, you cry a lot. C come on, stop it! But I fell for you because of that. So, I really like you. Uh, and that's how we got together. Afterward, it's a story I heard from Kanna, but later on, turns out what Ron said about Kanna being sick was to give me a push, knowing she liked me. The illness was just the disease of love. Also, introduce Kanna to Meg. We apologize for our misunderstandings, and despite being total opposites, they've become as close as siblings. A while later, I started living with Kanna. She taught me the ropes, and I've gotten better at chores I used to suck at. Kanna kept up with her housekeeping job and seems to be thriving even more. A few years later, she always does the cleaning, so maybe I should clean her room as well. Huh? What's this? Is Kanna wearing something flashy like this? Don't look! S sorry! I was planning to wear these tonight. <laughs> it's for the fun later, darling. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.